Now we're going to place some stairs. And we actually have to place a stair with a landing. Okay, and we need to know how to place and, of course, modify and do all other sorts of adjustments with our stairs. Um, I'm just going to leave that uh, box on there. Go to my first floor. Uh, if you're going to do stairs, uh, you're starting on the first floor. Obviously, if you have a three-story building, then, of course, you would start them on the second floor. Um, but we are going to choose stair. Now, automatically, it will set it up to just our normal straight stair here. When you do straight stairs, it'll automatically create a landing in most cases. All right. Not making any promises there, but in most cases, it'll do that. Okay. So, we have to think here. How do we want these stairs to go? We have our loft, which is going to be right here in this section here. Uh, it actually extended right here to that uh, wall. So I'm going to start, we're going to do kind of a switchback deal with our stairs. Um, now, several other things that we can um, do here before we start running our stairs. Right here it says location line, just like the walls had a location line of how you wanted to uh, adjust your walls, whether measuring from the face or the exterior face, interior face, core center, whatever. Um, now here, because I'm going to run these stairs, I'm actually going to run them starting here up switch back coming this way so I will have to actually change my run to left okay that way I'll start my stairs here on the left and then come over here and it'll automatically do my landing um, offset if you want to offset it any would be right here actual run width three feet we're gonna leave that alone because that's pretty normal that's actually code uh, and then here we have automatic landing checked which is beautiful all right, so now we're just going to start our stairs right here. I'm thinking this is far enough out. I'm going to click, drag, and then you see the ghosting effect of the stairs. That's basically telling you how far you got to go before you run out of treads. Uh, I could make it all the way up, and it would be a straight set of stairs, but of course I'm going to switch back here. And, and this is basically telling me how many steps I have left. Um, so whatever's not covered in, in these little marks here, these tread marks, is what I have left to create. So I'm going to take this, um, and I can see my risers. If you look down here, you can see right here, it'll count your risers for you. And it tells you out to the right there. It even says how many is remaining. I think I want to take this one up to about 12. I mean, uh, 10, I want to have 12. No, wait, I want to have about 9 remaining. Or maybe 8. Let's do 8. Okay, so that will give me plenty of room to do this little switch back here. Now, again, remember, um, I'm making everything work on the left. So if I'm going to draw this way, oops, I didn't do that right. I was incorrect. All right, so I'll have to kind of pull it out here some. And we can adjust it later if we don't get it in the, exactly in the right direction. Um, so do that, and then we take our stairs all the way up to where they're supposed to be, right there. Now, this is where we can do some adjustments. Um, we can select our stair and move this puppy right on over here. And it adjusts, automatically adjusts the landing and everything. Okay, so that's more like what stairs are supposed to look like. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's how you would place the stairs in the uh, in the test. I think what they'll do is give you uh, a very narrow wall section where you can actually use the edge of the walls, of both walls, um, instead of having, you know, just open space here to uh, gauge your stair well width by. Uh, but anyway, that's how you do it. Um, and we can actually check out our handiwork here. And I'm not sure how that's going to look. Probably have to do some more, some more adjusting to it. Um, but before we get there, uh, there's other ways of adjusting our stairs, which they may ask you to do on the test. Um, you know, base level one, they're probably not going to have you change that. Top level two, they're probably not going to have you change that. But they might have you uh, desire stair height 10 foot. They might have you change something in that nature. And here, of course, no, actually they won't because you can't even click on it there. Desired number of risers. Now, desired number of risers depends on how steep the stairs are going to be, how high they're going to go. And uh, you can create more risers to get um, 
you know, maybe a less uh, uh, grade or what have you to your stairs. Uh, typically, you won't do that. You'll probably stay with, with code. Um, here you can change your tread depth to make the tread depth a little wider. Maybe you have someone living in the house that has 14-inch um, feet, so uh, they might custom order some stairs with 14-inch tread depths on them. Um, and let's see, tread riser start number one. You probably wouldn't change that. Uh, but those are some of the things that you could um, adjust or they might ask you to adjust in um, the uh, user exam. So let's go ahead and click on our check mark, finish up our stairs. Let's go to our 3D view, take our pick box here. I call it a pick box, it's really a section box. And we can see our stairs. Okay, there's our stairs. Now, that reminds me of one other thing that they might ask you to do, and that is make a hole right here for your stairs uh, so that you can. Uh, well, basically, so your stairs will come up above the floor. So we're going to go back to floor level one. And I'm going to stretch my box back out here just to get it out of the way. Go to Architecture tab right up here. Go over here to Shaft. Click on the Shaft. And we will draw a shaft. Now, you got they'll probably tell you how big to draw the shaft and probably won't have to do any guesswork there but the thing is you got to have at least uh six foot eight inches as you're going up the stairs you know of, of space that won't uh, that your head won't hit so i'm just gonna do a really broad one here make sure i have my bases covered we're going to cut all that out for our stairs and I really probably should take this one over to the side a little bit more. All right, and then we're going to click the OK button. Can't keep wall and roof joined. And that could be because my stairs are in a precarious location there with that hole. Let's go ahead and see what happened. Or actually, let's do this. Let's move this back over here. That'll probably satisfy that, and it will. So let's go again to our 3D view. All right, now here is the shaft right there. You'll have to adjust that. Okay, so we'll have to bring that down to where it's not poking out of the roof. And I'm not sure if we have to bring the bottom up or not. We'll see here in a second. So take a box through here, and there you go. We see we have a hole for our stairs and yes we will have to bring the uh, bottom of that box up so our little slice box there for cutting that shaft for the stairs and yes my stairs are not exactly where they should be oh wait no that's because i have the box open here let's look at it from another angle and let's use this one and cut right through there and here you can see my stairs. There you go. Perfect. Can't get any better than that. And uh, that'll also give us some place where we can put some railings and stuff like that up. So that is stairs.